Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we were still trying to close in the gap in this area, which we're doing pretty well. We're closing in the gaps on the stuff I haven't claimed yet, but with that in mind, we still do have a couple things going on over here. The, uh, the formerly nationless, uh, group of, well, for lack of a better phrase, mercenaries, is now a fully-fledged star nation and is spreading out from where it used to sit right here into, well, every nearby system. Luckily, it's not a threat to us, but it is technically a threat to our buddy. The, uh, <laughs> the Spuxalak Star Nation. Uh, technically, the buddy is not really that much of our buddy. He has, well, they have been annoying me lately. So, we're going to let them, uh, figure that one out. That's their problem now. So, with that in mind, I also had unlocked things. I just forgot to use them in regards to genetic templates that I can now make. So, I took the liberty of doing that off camera. And I figure we should start with the Phalens. Making them now erudite. Erudite? I'm not sure how that word works it's one of those anyway um biological engineering has unlocked previously dormant parts of the species brain greatly increasing mental acuity which is very nice it does the level cap for us it does the intelligent bit for us so that's nice in and of itself but then there's also robust Bio-optimized organs with redundant functions have made this species extraordinarily resistant to environmental hazards and disease, which increases our habitability by 30%, increases the resources from jobs we get by 5%, and increases our lifespan by 50 years. And then on top of that, we have Strong, which increases our army damage and pop resource output, and communal still attached. So, not much else going on there. We're looking pretty good. So, we're going to apply that template to the entirety of the population. New sit rep. And get it started as of right now. It's going to take 35 months, but it's going to be worth it. I think. So, speaking of population on felon day uh we've been having a bit of issues with crime all of a sudden don't know why so with that in mind uh i also have this option at my disposal while i already have a building devoted to Enforcing stability, technically, yes. Redeasing, decreasing crime really is the main feature of it. And when that's done, we'll change it over to a paradise dome again. I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to best build up the population's uh, housing districts. Honestly, I'm thinking just change one of the mining districts to a city district. Because I don't need as many mining districts on my planet. Not that badly. Now, we move on. And watch them go. Hmm. Wow, they're doing pretty good. They have massive, massive fleet numbers. Construction complete. Oh, 
Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. The Spuxalax Star Nation wishes to invite the Kettling Star Pack into the Federation. I'm for that. Absolutely for that. Beautiful. Good for them. Now they're on the good side. Let's check out this construction ship. Where are they sitting? Oh, they're done here now. Beautiful. Then you do that. And then eventually we'll put a star base here. We'll just have to wait until it's done. And let's look at our Imperial star base. Fleet, rather. Imperial Strike Force Fleet. That's what I meant to say. I can't talk. <laughs> I can't brain all that well either. Okay, and it's now 30 months. That's good. Oh. Great cons meet defeat. Uh-oh. In spite of her vaunted military genius, Etha, daughter of Iram, the great Khan of the Hifnar Horde, has met with defeat in the Akila system. When the armada she was commanding was lost in battle against forces belonging to the Spuxalak Star Nation, the great Khan and her closest officers fled into hyperspace in a small shuttlecraft. Even now, Etha, daughter of Enum, is busy assembling a new armada to resume her conquests. But this victory w has brought some much-needed respite to those to up to those who oppose, rather, the relentless advance of the Hifnar Horde. Well, good for them. Good for them, considering. So the Therian entity made peace with the Polysimus Syndicate. Ah, so they ended up just getting humiliated. That's fair. United Nations of Earth entered the commercial pact with Kettling Star Pack. Interesting. Nice. Have I still not? Oh, I have not. I have not at all. <laughs> I definitely need to get on that at some point. Inviting to the Federation. Whoa. Give me a second. That was weird. I had something that felt like it was crawling up my leg. That was very weird. But, um, I don't know who we invited to the... Oh! Why did it do that? I didn't... It double took an input that I didn't make. And I didn't even know who we were inviting to the Federation. Apparently, it was the Polysimus Syndicate. And I would have been kind of okay with that. I wouldn't have been happy, but I would have been okay. Damn it. Alright. Because it was a mistake. It was a mistake of the controller to double input something I didn't actually want it to do. I'm going to back up a bit, so I'll be back. All right, luckily it wasn't that far back. It was only a couple days. So, Yon Alliance inviting to the Federation, the Polysimus Syndicate. Okay, let's do it. And the Polysimus Syndicate has now joined the Federal Sovereign Nations. Beautiful. Can no longer use the expropriation casus belli on the Plissimus Syndicate. I wasn't aware that I had that on them. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, here we are. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Scientist Gall, daughter of Pock, has died at the age of 113. Jeez. That is unfortunate. Okay. But we have a spark of genius out of Zhang Zhu. Yang Zhu, rather. I misread that name. That's my bad. 
I am not awake enough. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Yong Zhu of the humans shall now help research. Perfect. Engaging enemy station. Oh, am I? Am I now? Wait, what? We're now inviting... We're now inviting more? We're bringing in the United Nations of Earth? Hell yeah! I'm saying hell yeah to that. What is my fleet doing? Oh! That's what they're doing. Something I didn't want them to do. Well, that's... Unfortunate. <laughs> because my backup fleets are too far away. <laughs> well... Oopsie doopsie. Um... We'll see how they last. <laughs> okay. Polysimus Syndicate has ended their rivalry with the Sutherian entity. Don't know why you would do that, but okay. We are losing Federation XP because we have so many in the Federation. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, How do I fix that? I have... We have seven envoys already assigned. How many more do I have to do to make it work? Uh, I don't want to have to pull one from the Galactic Community assignment, but I might have to, because I might not have a choice. Oh, no. Uh, can we not go any further with that. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well. I guess I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to take a little bit in that regard. Take a little hit. Construction complete. At least when it comes to the galactic community diplomatic weight. I'll have to take that hit because we need to fix that problem in Pronto. And the fleet. Wow. Got reduced to 10 ships. Wow. I'm not even sure it didn't do any damage. <laughs> any significant damage. Oh boy. All right. Well, Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Well, that's good. We got that taken care of. Huzzah. Um hmm. Technically this is cheaper by far. Um, the Impulse Thrusters. These highly advanced fusion-powered thrusters provide ships with unmatched maneuverability and speed under sublight conditions. Well, that's perfectly good for me. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, well, we got to wait for the fleet to show back up. A half a year from now, basically. All right. This is Great Khan Etha, daughter of Enum of the Hifnar Horde. My defeat at the hands of the Spuxalak Star Nation was a minor setback, nothing more. The Spuxalakans are brave warriors and worthy opponents, but they too will fall before us. The tide of history is sweeping across the galaxy, and nothing can stop it. My new armada has been assembled. Swear fealty to me now. To me now. Blah, 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 blah. Reggie, please cut that bit out. <laughs> Swear fealty to me now, while you still have time. Second onslaught approaches. Uh oh. Science division reports good. a new breakthrough. Huh. 
We gave the Conclave Association status. Interesting. Space time theory is done. Yay! So that means we can move on to doing all of the. <laughs> Ah, oh boy. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Let's go to applied superconductivity. So that's probably good. Wow. We, has, we have desperate need of getting more food into our systems. Also pop... Hey! Our crime is now down to zero. Beautiful. So we just gotta wait until that one criminal is removed. That one last criminal. And then we're all good. And the galactic... Ban sentient slave trade. It is regrettable that our previous resolution left a loophole for the sale of sentient mechanical organisms. We should rectify this mistake and ban the trade of all sentience on the galactic market. And we're already supporting it. I say good. To be fair, the only ones who are opposing it are the ones who are in breach of galactic law anyway. Well. Hmm. I'd say they're going to lose this one. Also, it just struck me. It just struck me. That the biggest grip on the galaxy is held by the Federation. <laughs> <laughs> we're all part of the Federation and we're all the biggest voting block of this galactic community <laughs> that's amazing wow I like that actually alright let's build one here I don't see why not Cool. And one here. And one here. And it has full already, so we won't bother with that. Wait, what? Oh, I am running out of volatile moats at a pace I'm not comfortable with. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure where I can put a facility to build more of that. I guess on Aurora is really my best bet, but then Acropolis is not bad either. Well, Aurora does have the Dust Desert, so it would basically be free. That's probably our best bet. Honestly, we'll have to wait until Aurora has a spot open, which should be soon. Hopefully is soon. Boy, do I need it soon. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We are at least on track to not lose the level of level three that we've gained so far. That's good, at least. We are a diverse galactic union here. We got a egalitarian xenophile militarist. We got the same sort of thing, but with a pacifist. And we got a fanatic egalitarian with xenophile. And egalitarian with fanatic xenophile. Xenophile with materialist. And then us, the authoritarian xenophile militarist. Man, we are all over that map. <laughs> well, here's hoping. We get it to work out. Hey, the fleet is back. Back at home. With that in mind, let's reinforce it, huh? As much as we can. As much as we can reinforce it, let's do so. And let's also sell these extras here, because we don't need that. Oh, 
And let's buy some extras here because we'll need that soon. Since we apparently need to spend money. Buy extras there too. Why not? Alright. Cool. Should be good enough, I think. Branch office shutdown on Felon Day. As crime levels continue to drop on Felon Day, the local authorities have been able to focus their efforts on thwarting the illegal enterprises operated by the Polysimus Syndicate on the moon. A large number of arrests have been made, forcing their criminal branch out of the business. Good riddance. The Polysimus Syndicate Mega Corporation has closed down their branch office on Felon Day. That is probably why we ended up having crime in the first place. God damn it. All right. Crime is over, technically. But we have still far too many criminals running around. Damn it. <sighs> we'll just have to wait until that last criminal is dealt with. Wait, what? pieces of an ephemeral puzzle. Various research stations across our empire have detected subtle distortions in hyperspace centered upon the starbase at Felon Day. The effect presents in real space as a localized aurora, which starbase inhabitants describe as brightly colored gaseous tendrils enveloping the station. Furthermore, our allies in the Federal Sovereign Nations report similar phenomena in their capital systems. President Yinau Uvi Abz... Ah, that is a name. ...have called for an immediate and coordinated investigation into this matter. Yeah, absolutely, let's do that. Each member of the Federal Sovereign Nations will be tasked with a special project, a joint effort to find out what links these phenomena begins the Flocus of Cloud Event Chain. New sit rep. Interesting. Well, I'll do my half. Absolutely. Flock of Flocks of Cloud. Okay, need a scientist there then. Alright. I think I have a science ship posted in that area. I do. And it is level 3, which is a little over what was necessary for the mission. So it should be all good. Get that one built. I've let him sit there for far too long, doing nothing. Inbound message traffic. I'm sorry, but no... No, you bring too much crime to my system. I'm Special sorry. Special project no. complete. Interesting. Our investigation of the Aurora-like cloud at Felon Day raised more questions than answers. Distinct tendrils of cloud form whenever we beam communications to our allies' research teams, but only then. These sweeping orange curves will tend to curl around the underside of our base, giving it the appearance of being on fire. On our own, we are unable to discern any further meaning from these behaviors, but the Federal Sovereign Nations expects to have more answers once every member's results are collated. Early theories proposed suggest... Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I read that right, it's just... I'm assuming that was a mistranslation or something, because uh, there should not be two of those. <laughs> Because they basically mean the same thing in that sentence. Uh, each theories, early theories proposed suggest these dimension-spanning entities somehow harmonize with our hyperspace communication bands. This accidental lure could be kept in place in order to further exploit the entity for study, or we could switch frequencies in the hopes of dispersing it. Let's keep it here for now until we hear from the other uh, federal sovereign nations. Here for now, and then bring you back to research on Felon Day. There we go. Much better. 
And more New of that. species variant available. Controlled evolution. Genetically modify a species to possess traits worth seven points. Interesting. Well, I was going to do that anyway, so it worked out. All right. Now that we've done that and gotten that finished, we can get rid of this template. Hey! There's the earning achievement for Game Pass. Beautiful. And let's move on to human and apply theirs. New sit rep. It finishes in 17 months. All right. That's fine by me. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Ooh, nice. We got that finished. All right. So we move on. I still don't want those. I kind of want those. But I very much want that. <laughs> I very much want that. But... Let's go with the advanced strike craft. A further refinement in strike craft design. These advanced strike craft are pilot's dream. Their performance far exceeds that of previous models. Well... That's good enough explanation for me. Let's go. Construction complete. Good. That's what I wanted. And now you can get that built. And then... I guess we move on to... Hmm, what do we move on to? Maybe here? That's an idea. I just realized there's... Some of those there. I thought I dealt with those. <laughs> I thought I dealt with them. I guess I didn't. Interesting. The Spuxalak are now trying to take this thing on. Interesting. Interesting. Where, where are all they moving? I have no idea where they're moving all of their fleets through, but okay. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Oh, wow. They have grown to be sizable. Wowzers. That is actually kind of impressive just on its own. Okay, well... I guess after he's done there, we'll go here. That's good. And yes, I'm aware of those. That's fine. Oh! I guess they have upgrades to get. I forgot about that. Might as well get that taken care of. And they're good. Okay, cool. And more migration treaties, more levels. It is going. Invite to the Federation. Who would the United Nations of Earth want to invite? The Sacrosanct Thymoid Conclave. That would technically be the last one out of the acceptable people. Sure. Cool. And it passed. They are now unified. In all the ways we can be. Interesting. Okay. Construction complete. Perfect. Good to hear. Get that set up with construction. And... Hmm. Okay. What's up, Brock? 
<laughs> we have good workers for you. Good lifters, draggers, pullers, cleaners, healthy, clever. Give us 500 alloys, and we shall send four racket pops to one of your planets. What? Criminal records? Afraid we've lost the papers. <laughs> uh, not right now. Actually, you know what? Not interested. Sorry. Sorry to say we're not really that interested. Um... This one's still getting finished up. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure. There we go. I'm not sure what we should be doing next. Ships refitted. Well, that's good at least. Got refitted quick. And they're done, so move back to Eam. And Ships refitted. Now done. Move back to Eam. Ah! Hello, High Curator. The agreement we signed giving access to our data banks has run its course. Let's buy it again! Beautiful. As usual. Okay, let's go back to there. Sell off minerals that we don't need. Sell off. Uh, sell off consumer goods we don't need. And that should be good. Yeah, we should be good for a while. At least monetarily, anyway. Since we're doing that with the curator order, why not start back up again with the artisan troop. Why not? You wish to become your patron. Yeah, absolutely. Gives us monthly unity and extra opinion, which is always good. Always very nice. Uh, we'd like to help... We'd like your help to found an art college. Cool. Beautiful. All right. Organize a festival across our worlds. Organizing a festival of that scale will require all of our artists to bring their talent. Not an easy job, or cheap. Well, I figured it wouldn't be cheap. A uh, thousand credits just to get 15% uh, higher happiness and 10% higher growth speed and population. I can deal with that. I am fine with that. Let's do it. New species variant available. There we go. Is the humans done? Yes, the humans are done. Beautiful. In that case, we shall move on to A, destroying this old template because it is not correct anymore. But then also, moving on to finishing off the Plex Credonians. Which I upgraded theirs a little bit. So they're a little stronger than us. Uh, but they're also more robust. Which is beautiful. And very nice. And very helpful. So. Do that for the entire New population. And they get to have all those benefits very soon. And then we'll do that for the Thymoid later as well. I haven't gotten quite Ships there yet. Refitted. The Thymoid. Ah, beautiful. They're done. Then in that case, we'll move you here. And you can get started there. Perfect. Old with defects from the Caravaneers. Well, one man's trash. New sit rep. As always, one man's trash. All right. We'll have them head over to that and then head back to the nearest starbase after that. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, beautiful. Love to see it get done quickly. So let's move on to kinetic artillery and even more powerful long range ship based artillery cannon. Equipped with a new barrel and an upgraded fire control computer. I don't see why not. It's very useful. 
Extremely useful, in fact. Especially on the bigger ships we're eventually going to be building. Alright. Uh, let's head back up to the planets. And Dawnlight at least has an open spot. That's good. But what do I put on it? Damn. I don't know. Um, hmm. I have no idea what I should put on it. Very interesting. Let's go with more alloy foundries and call that good from there. But then also build another city district and another couple of those districts so we can spread around the love just a little bit. Now, Acropolis. Acropolis, they need... Well, a lot less, honestly. Um, commercial zone. Why not? All right. Ships refitted. There we go. New species variant available. And the Plex Gridonians have been finished. Beautiful. Again, these... These names mean nothing to me because they don't show up even in the species list. Ah, boy, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, why? Why did that happen? There. Okay, we'll delete the old one right here. Perfect. Whoopsie doodle. And get... The Ketlings at least started on theirs. New sit rep. Beautiful. It'll be four months. Won't be that much time at all, in fact. Construction complete. Beautiful. Then finish that up, and then you're done for at least a little while. Because eventually I want to use those unspe unspent civic points to get all that taken care of. Mother fuckers. The Festival of Worlds has abruptly stopped. The artisan trope has packed their bags and left without saying a word about why. Searching their campsite and arenas have revealed that a massive amount of resources have disappeared. Those thieves. Those bastards. Can I follow up? They won't respond to our hails. How dare they? Well, we finally passed the resolution ban the sentient slave trade. Finally, that got done. Huh. Minor military sanctions. Suppose I support that. Integrated gardens. I support that, too. Sure. Absolutely. New species variant available. Okay. Well, that's good. So I guess I'll show you how I did all of that with the Thymoid Conclave. Let's create the new template and erase that, that, and leave that other stuff for now. Um, hmm. We'll have them be... Ingenious. Add robustness. And let's see. Is there anything else I can run? Nope. Not there anyway. Let's have them docile. So that way they don't contribute as much to the Empire Sprawl. I think I like that. There we go. 
And then we add them to New that secret. genetic template. Get started on research. And then we'll see in a bit. Well, I'm waiting on the rest of them to get Special done with that project thing. Project complete. Okay. Well, we earned engineering research. It wasn't necessarily what I was hoping for, but it's better than nothing. Likely due to the vessel being a civilian transport, the shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed as part of the decommissioning process. So while nothing else of value was found aboard the ship, our data scientists have managed to recover partial references to unknown alien technologies. And they're still not responding to our hails. Of course not. Of course not. All right. Okay. How about that, racket? Let's see what we got. Again, you're selling the same thing. No. Whoopsie. Not what I wanted. Wanted to upgrade. And then add more bio reinforcements. There we go. Good. All right. Oh. I didn't realize that the uh, caravan destroyer was lost. That sucks. What do we have? We can get rare crystals in exchange for two pops. Like, honored Phelans, we have a special offer in well, in store for you. There we go. We'll go with that instead. Numa has seen great potential in your people and would like to welcome some of your kind into her ranks. In return, these priceless crystals could be yours. As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. Okay, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's not actually too bad. Not too bad at all, complete. in fact. Hey! Enough for new tradition... In prosperity, just before the end of the episode. Beautiful. Um, city districts provide one additional housing would be very useful right now, in fact. So let's go with that. And then we'll go with this after. Okay. Good. Done there. And they're moving back to Riadore, where I wanted them to go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, let's see what else I should do before we end the episode today. On the planets, Camelot has a new spot open. So, let's go with... What should I do? What should I do? Good question. Um... Why not another administrative office? Sure, why not? And then... Build a mining district. And an agricultural district. And a generator district. Yeah, that should be fine. That should work out beautifully. Alright. With that done, Aurora... Why do you have more specialists than you need? Why would you do that? You're silly. Alright. So, going to end the episode here for right now. Because we are just at the time to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and... Trying more or less to finish moving into those spots that are sitting open. We're more or less almost done with that. But then we also have a couple new additions to our federation. The Polysima Syndicate, the United Nations of Earth, Sacrosanct Conclave. 
And we're letting the Hifnar Horde spread alongside here to mess with the Commonwealth of Man and also technically this Buxalak Star Nation. We'll help them soon enough. Probably. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm still debating on if I want to do that. But we'll do something there soon enough. For you.